Women's Health Edge, some beers are getting a caffeine boost. Zing, but before you pop the top, there are concerns about what the buzz may be doing to your body. Health Edge reporter Carolyn Clifford has more. Energy drinks have become popular with people wanting a quick jolt, especially young adults, but some people are worried mixing them with alcohol is a recipe for danger. Some beer products are getting a makeover. Beer with wow. something extra. But it may be hard to spot. I want you to pick the ones that you think or even point to the ones you think have alcohol in them. We asked high school students Jessica Stanley and Sarah Zerbicki if they could spot the booze. Some they knew about. I read about this one before. So yeah. you know alcohol's in that because yes. you read about that one. But others were harder for them to pick out. What about tilt? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't either. Tilt is alcoholic. According to the can, it's a malt beverage with more than 6% alcohol. When it looks so, quote unquote, innocent on the outside, we're going to have a huge problem with youth abusing and using alcohol energy drinks. Donis Reese is with the Alliance of Coalitions for Healthy Communities. She's not only worried that some people may purchase the drinks not knowing they contain alcohol, but also drinking them could change a person's behavior. Alcohol energy drinks are inherently dangerous, whether you're a youth or an adult, and the danger is you don't know how much you're drinking. Probably two, and I'd start to feel edgy. Dr. Patrick Gibbons is an addiction specialist with the University of Michigan. I'd be sweating. Um, my handwriting would look a bit different. I'd have some shaking to it. It's not a good thing to use a drug that impairs someone's judgment, their motor ability, and then stimulate them at the same time. No long-term studies have yet to be conducted on the health effects of drinking these products, but doctors do know high doses of caffeine can be dangerous to your body. When you get into many hundreds of milligrams, you start to have central nervous system irritability. You have tremor, shakes, sweating, agitation that can progress in high, at high levels to seizures. Sparks, Tilt, and Bud Extra don't list the caffeine content, so it can be hard to know just how much caffeine you're consuming. Those, yeah, like, the corona. Mm -hmm. and corona. Sarah and Jessica are members of the Birmingham Bloomfield Community Coalition, which works to teach others about the dangers of underage drinking. But despite their efforts, it's not stopping all teens. What makes that so popular to have an energy drink mixed with alcohol? Um, I think it gives them the best of both worlds. You have the energy, yet you have the um, feeling of drinking alcohol. I mean, relaxed, forget everything, but you're still energized, wild, crazy. In February, the Center for Science and the Public Interest asked beverage companies to stop selling alcoholic energy drinks. A spokesperson for Anheuser-Busch told us the products are sold lawfully and have been approved by federal authorities. They went on to say the company has spent millions of dollars to help prevent alcohol abuse, including underage drinking. Bottom line, parents pay attention to what your teenagers are drinking. I'm Carolyn Clifford, Channel 7, Action News.